Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? Like, hi, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> so weird. Anyway, I've got a couple of things I wanted to share with you today. I've actually been on a napkin kick, and you'll see. But um, I also found a couple of things that I thought that were really great. For instance, these hands, let me see if I can find the packs of them. Um, I don't know where I put the packs. I have like three or four of these now. Um, but you can find these hands at the Dollar Tree. They're nice. They're quite thick. And they're really great. And I thought that we could do something. Remember my boho hands? Um, we could do something like the boho hand. I'm looking around to see if I can find the packs now. I I, I don't know where they are. <laughs> but they're just hanging where most of the Dollar Tree stuff. Gee, many Christmas. Really, done. I just bought them not so long ago. Anyway, they're just hanging in the arts and crafts or by the kids department. The teacher area, something like that. You'll find them oh, if they're in your Dollar Tree. Hopefully they are. They're a dollar. Uh, I think there was like 10, 10 for a dollar. So I thought this was a really great deal. Um, and I wanted to go. You can use them for masks when you're spraying your paints. You can decorate them. You can have your kids play with them. There's so many things to do with them. But remember when we did the boho hands? I wanted to do something like that. So the two things that I want to highlight in this video, though, today are these hands because these are so cool. I'm still looking for the packs. Like, okay, I'm not going to find them right now. Get over it, right? Get over it, Don. So I wanted to highlight these hands because these are a new find at the Dollar Tree. I hadn't seen those before I found them. And also, I wanted to show you these safety pins. You're right, really, Don, safety pins? But if you look really close at these safety pins, I want to, I want you to see something. I want you to notice something that's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Pretty cool. Do you see something cool about these safety pins? I wish I had another one that's a real one to show you the difference. But they're coilless. See the bottom here? There's no coil that wraps around the pin. It doesn't go, it doesn't go woo like that. So that way you can add more um beads on it without having any issue and that's what I did here so I made a couple of these hands here's the first one I did living mind live mindfully and like I said I'm on a napkin kick so I just wanted to use napkins aren't they cute now I could back this but I, I don't know if I'm done or not I, I actually not because I might want to um you know um dangle something off of this I'm not sure see how big they are they're pretty big you guys they're not they're not child size they're adult size nap um hands so but on this one I went ahead and I used a couple of the um coilless pins to dangle some beads off of just quickly I think I might add another one I'm not sure I might not keep these on here but I just wanted to do a project that shows you these really cool pins because um, they're, they're just cool. You can add, you know, add them to your journals. Um, uh, Mrs. Coggs, I saw these on her site, I don't know, months and months and months ago. And I've been holding on to them before, so until I moved in order to share this project with you. So, um, I, I don't, I think she uses them with beads too. Yeah. But I'm sure she uses them in her journals. I think. I don't remember. It's been a while, you guys. But I found these, um, they're called, um, coilless safety pins, but I actually saw them at Michael's the other day. I don't remember how much they were. These are 50, 50 pieces in here, and I don't remember how that much they were. I think six bucks, something, something in that neighborhood. But anyway, so I thought this was a really cool find, Didn't, don't you? I was like, coilless, who knew, right? I had no idea. So I just wanted to share this with you and so that you can find those for your journal projects. All right, but today I just want to go ahead and play with these. I hope you can find these. We might do a swap. If enough people can find these, I'd like to swap these. Um, and I'll talk to Sam about it and see what she thinks. But right now, let's go ahead and um, do one because I just I am I'm really actually in the um, in the uh, napkin mode, you guys. I really am. So, and it gives me a chance to sit down and chat with you. And do a little something something. So here we go. 
I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm doing okay. Um, I'm just a craft and fool. I've got lots of projects that I just don't feel like there's enough time in the day for me to do everything I want to do, right? I mean, I've got so many things I, I want to do. I just, oh, I'm having so much fun. Um, I'm finally getting to the point where we're going, okay, I can get used to this sleeping in all day. I don't know how long it's going to last, but for now, it's what I'm doing. And um, you guys, I've been working since I was 13 years old. It takes a while to get used to not. So, and I'm still not sure that I'm not going to um, get a part time. Um, I just haven't, I just haven't, um, with the holiday, you know, the 4th of July and everything, I just haven't, um, you know, concentrated my efforts at all, you know? So, anyway. Um, yeah. And uh, I haven't been feeling good. You guys always hear me say that. I'm not kidding when I say that. I, it's true. I, I really don't feel good most of the time Some these days. I, you know, I've got illness and, ugh, but I don't want to talk about that. Um, but I just want you to know that, um, you know, I do the best I can for you guys and for myself. I do, and I try to keep it light and fun. And I do talk about my illness sometimes on my channel because, hey, number one, um, I want you guys all to know that um, it's hard work doing a channel, but I do the best that I can for you. And if I don't always um, do the greatest videos or whatever, uh, it's because I'm not always feeling the best. But I try. I do try. Honestly, I try. I honestly do. So, yeah. But anyway, I like doing this because I just like cutting it out. You guys know me. I just like cutting this out. I love trimming. So that's that's the fun part for that's the fun part for me. <laughs> oh, I'm five. Got some juvenile humor going on here now. Oh, I hope everybody's doing well. Can't see through that little snippet there. I'm doing great. I mean, I'm doing great. The channel's doing great. Everybody's so supportive. Thank you so much for your support of my channel. You can support me by um, watching the um, the uh, uh, the ads if you can. If you can watch the videos, that would be great. The you know I think they run about two or two minutes or so before the video starts. Just you know turn it on. If they come on, go get a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, and then come back and hang out with me. Okay, that would be great. Um, yeah, I appreciate that. And also there's my Etsy store, which I hope I'm trying to get some inventory in there, but that'll take some time. I'm going to do some printables pretty soon. I'm going to do some printables because those are great. I mean, everybody loves printables. So that'd be fun to always have something up there that you can just download. So if there's anything of mine that you like, maybe some of that sorry fabric, maybe print, do some printables of that. Or some kits. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> just thinking out loud, you guys. Aren't these hands cute? They're at the Dollar Tree like right now. I just got these like a few weeks ago. And I was like, oh my gosh. Those are cute. They'll make a really cute little project. I know. They're juvenile. But that's we have fun doing them, that stuff. So I, don't, I just want to call them like hello hands or hi hands or whatever, you know, they're just fun, fun hands, fun hands to do. And how cute, you know. So I have my, um, my little peacock ready here to go. So let me go ahead and put that down. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and use this on the bottom. I'm finding that gluing things down with a glue stick is way more better. Way more better. And then going over the top of it. That's what I did with these. I glued it down and then I went over the top of it. But I didn't go over the top of the words with the Mod Podge because I didn't want them to bubble. And then I went around it with ink tins. I'll show you. Aren't these cute? They're so cute. I just thought they were so cute. Okay, let's use this little guy, right? Let's see. It's easier if I go like so. Like that. Go. I just want to make sure he's in there. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. 
And then we're going to rip this one off of here because um, I don't want that line. So hold on, let me grab something to help us out here. Just do a little rippage, a little rippage and tearage. Oh, I met some neighbors today, a little girl. Super cute. Oh, this isn't working very well. I have to wet it. So yeah, that was, she was so cute. She was a year and a half and she just kept looking at me like, oh, who's that? You know how they are. And now when I walked away, I, I had this feeling, you know, so I turned around and I looked and she was like, just looking at me and just waving. Like, bye. And I was like, oh my God, I have to turn her. I have to wave now. She was adorbs. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Okay. Now we'll do, now we'll do some of this. This is glue water, <laughs> not on purpose. I'm not using it on purpose. I'm using it because I'm too lazy to go get anything else. And it's just working out that way. Just working out that way. So yeah, that's how that will go. Ooh, that'll be pretty though. It's a little small. It's kind of driving me crazy. Let's grab another piece. Let's grab another piece. Here comes Gracie. She's like, what you doing? You want to come up here? You can, Gracie. Come on. Come on. Come on, Gray. You can come up. There she is. Sorry, guys. For those of you who don't know, this is Gracie, and she is the boss of me. Mm-hmm. She is the boss of me. There we go. That'd be pretty. All right. Oh, she wants to lick on this thing over there. Look at that over there. Go over there. Okay, come over here, Gracie. Come over here. Or you can sit there. Whatever you want to do. You're the, you can do whatever you want to do. Over there. Go here. Just don't leave your butt in there. There. Sit there and do that. She can do that thing that she does. It's so bizarre. They, uh, she likes to lick bags, plastic bags. I don't know why. I haven't figured that one out yet. I have not figured that out. Hey, Gray. How are you doing? Say hello to everybody. They miss you. But see, she's getting used to it coming up here more again. Right? What you doing? She's playing with it. What you doing, Gray? Oh, that's too much. I don't care. We don't care. That's fine. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and cut around this. What you doing, Gray? Really? You know. She's so funny. She is a funny kitty. She's still sitting there, you guys. She's still visiting. So as soon as the holiday's over, I am going to go and join that gym because I need weight work, obviously. And I need, um, I really need the structure of going to a gym. And um, I might just end up going to a yoga class once in a while. I found one at a rec center. Somebody mentioned the... Um, what do you call it? The uh, YMCA around, um, you know, that they go to theirs. And so I thought, why? Oh, that's a great idea. So I actually looked for ours and it uh, doesn't have very good reviews, but I am going to go check it out. I haven't uh, committed to any contracts, nor will I, until I know that I have left no stones unturned for, um, because... I don't like that because that's what would happen to me. I would go, oh, yeah, I got the greatest deal. And then five minutes later, find something for $20 cheaper or $10, $10, $20 cheaper that month. And I don't want that to happen. I really, I hate that when that happens to me. It's like, oh, oh, I have to tell you, it's so funny. So I went to this and it's fine though because of what the place is. But I went to this um, thrift store and I was looking for hummingbird feeders, right? And I go, oh, great. And I found two of them. They were like, 
two bucks, two fifty a piece, and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I was like, oh, that's a good deal, you know. I couldn't do, I couldn't have done better, and had I tried, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I, and then my next door was the Dollar Tree, and they were the same ones the Dollar Tree had for a dollar. <laughs> I'm like, really? But you know what? It was a thrift store for animals, and I never mind. Um, I don't mind that at all, obviously. For, you know, I don't mind that at all. So, yeah. <laughs> but wasn't that funny? Here I was thinking, yeah, I, I'm so smart. I am just the smartest thing that ever walked the earth. I'm the smartest biped ever. Ha. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. So. But it's so funny. Oh, and so today I was driving um, back from the store. And um, I'm looking, as I'm driving down my street, I'm seeing this car. I'm not going to tell you what kind. I almost did. But I saw this car and I'm like, what in the world? And I thought, are they following me? And then I pulled into my driveway and opened up my garage and they parked right behind me. And I'm like, <gasps> and I looked and I looked again. And then I looked the lady that was behind it. She was smiling and I thought, Oh no. And so it was one of the ladies, bye Grace. It was one of the lady. It was the lady that I've been bike riding with lately. She's so cute. It was so funny. So, um, she had seen me and she said, okay, well, she's the only one with a California license plate. She said she had a certain, I won't tell you what my car is. She said she had a certain car and she's like, okay, that's her. <laughs> so, so cute. I'm going to go ahead and put the Mod Podge down now. Yeah. So she pulled over and we were chatting and we're going to get together and go to the Saturday market one of these days whenever... Um, whenever we, um, well, you know, the holidays and stuff. So, and then she's the one that told me about a really close yoga class. She's a super nice lady. I really, really like her. I really do. She's super, super sweet. And, um, she's so cute. She goes, I just got out of the gym. I go, well, you look too cute for just getting out of the gym. Really? I was like, oh my God, you're so cute. So when you, after you do your Mod Podge, now you're able to just kind of bend back the sides that you didn't get perfectly. So if you were watching me cut this earlier going, ah, really Don? That's why. Because, I mean, napkins, they just fold back into the project really easily. So don't, don't stress. Just, you know, do the best you can. And, yeah, just use that. And then later you'll find that you'll be going back in with um, um, more glue anyway, you know. So, yeah whatever you want but that's how I do it and then just you know fold them around like so I've been using up a lot of my napkins we have some napkin projects coming up on Don let's make it a mess today with Don Facebook page we have some um, napkin trades going on right now it just closed though by the way but we're gonna be adding napkins to our um, hey, pretty we're gonna be adding napkins to our um, our, our monthly uh, junk jar swap. So Sam took a poll and everybody wants to see more napkins. And so that's what we're going to do. So, all right. So there's that. So I actually am going to let that dry a little bit. Um, I'm going to, I found some words. I'm going to use uh, wishing on a dandelion. Let's see if that looks actually good on there. Just make sure that looks good on there. I'm going to go around it with, you know, you can go around it with Stabilo or Stabio or whatever it is. And then Ink Tents. But I thought Wishing on a Dandelion was cute. I am going to be harvesting magazine for words again because I'm constantly running out these days. And um, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I did get a wonderful book of images oh my gosh it was uh, from Laura Vasquez so Laura thank you so much it's gorgeous so I will be doing so many art pages I've got so many art pages coming up this is beautiful it's lovely when I see peacocks I always think about Rosemary Morris don't you <laughs> she just loves them so now I'm going to save these for my junk jar so never, ever, ever, ever toss those 
Okay. Boy, I'm bossy bessy today. So put these back in your junk jar too. Back in there. It doesn't take long for this to dry and it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just use this. I'll put that around on there right now. Let me just make sure I know how I'm gonna do it. Make sure. Let me zoom in a little bit. I guess I could zoom in a little bit. Yeah, why not? Kind of far away today. There we go. That's better. That's more better. That's good. There we go. Right? I love this new setup, you guys. It's just what I wanted. Squishing. Perfect, right? All right, let's go ahead and get those down. And they don't have to be perfect. You know me. I don't want anything to be perfect. As a matter of fact, I'd rather it not be. Thank you very much. Perfect stresses me out. <laughs> perfect stresses me out. The only time I try to be perfect, and it's not even that perfect, is when I'm making something to sell. But you know, everything's homemade, so... Handmade is never, um, was it the saying that nothing is perfect except for what God has made, right? Isn't that what they say? So, yeah. Although I'm not the most religious person in the world, I do believe that nature can only make things perfect. I really do. Wishing on a dandelion. Except for that's pretty perfect, you guys. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now we've got that on there. I'm still letting this dry a little bit, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to go around the... So what I did was I just kind of went around the edges a little bit with some... Um, I'll show you some Distress inks. You can go around it with Stabilo or whatever you want to go around it at with... Um, oh, I might go around this one. No, I don't, I don't really want to go around it with black. It's just too dark. But I might have to because this is actually pretty dark. So maybe this one will call for some Stabilo. That means I have to find it. So I'll just go around it with the black ink tints. Same thing. Oh, I need a paint. I keep saying I'm going to get one. A, uh, I'm looking over here to see if I can actually just lay my eyes on one. But what's that? No. I need a brush. So I actually don't like using my... my um, my finger. Hold on. Let me grab this. Okay. Let's go around this. I use distress crayons on these that um, that um, uh, Christine Gianni sent me. So I love those. That was fun. But I think this one I'm just going to use is black. Like so. Kinda, yeah. It would be better if it was drier, but I don't feel like drying right, right now. I don't want to make this a huge long effort today. There we go. It's okay. It was fun. I'm throwing things around. I'm throwing things at you, you guys. So these would be fun to swap, wouldn't they? I think they'd be fun to swap, or they'd just be fun to um, to RAK, which I need to do some. I haven't done anything like that since I moved, and it's time for me to get off my duff now. Um, do some RAKs. Oh yeah, this black one looks pretty on here. Because you just can't keep all this art that you make. you got to share it, right? That makes it more fun. I think.
I can't go too hard on this because again, it's not that dry. And um, yeah, I'll just have bits gonna rip. I mean, I really wish I didn't mind using my, like that, but I don't. It feels like it dries out my mouth or something. So, yeah. I'm sure you could use your spit and spit and lick or whatever, like Lori Marie says, but I can't for some reason. I'm challenged in that area. <laughs> okay. Did I really just do that? Yeah, you did. Okay, now unripped a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. I'll go back with over it later. All right. Oh, that's so cute. These are really fun, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go around, around it now with this. And again, it would do better if it was drier. Shame on me. I know I could pull out my, I haven't even dry, I haven't dried anything since I've been here. So I need to pull out my, my heat gun. I have it. I just haven't pulled it out yet. Lazy girl, you know me. Lazy. If I can skip a step, I will. There we go. So cute. All right, now let's take a look. Isn't that cute? I just love these. Again, you can put them down once they're done and then cut around them. I should, I would probably do that on these because, but I haven't yet. So, oh, I just had so much fun. So, oh yeah, and by the way, when you're doing these, if you want to do two and you want them to go like both hands like this, so it makes sure that, I just, for some reason, I'm doing the left-handed way. But you can turn it around and do, do it that way so you have a set, okay? Whatever you want to do. I just wanted to do it this way. So I'm going to go ahead now, let that dry a little bit, and I'll probably go back over it with a little bit more Mod Podge. Um, it looks like it could use a little bit more. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to work with those um, because there is a trick to the um, there's a trick to the uh, coilless pins. And so let me show you what that is. Okay, so the trick is this. So if you're Oh, I'm just going to do one and I don't even know if I'm going to dangle it on this one because I'm not sure what I want to do yet so, but I will show you how to do this okay so on these I mean if you if you want to put it on this side or I'm sorry this side it doesn't matter you're going to be in trouble because I mean when you put it on something right you know what I mean like this is the side that goes in so you want the beads to be on this side right um if they're small enough beads, you can just put them on and go like that. Like, for instance, let me show you. Like these little itty-bitty beads. Oh, look at my dirty little fingers. These little itty-bitty beads. Um, I can't see. Let me see. I think it's easier if you put it down and go like this. There we go. So they, they won't even actually fit. There's a specific size that I found is really great. And it's these bigger beads right here. These are great, right? But they won't go around that that coilless area, so not a problem. Just go whoop, bend it a little bit, and then once you bend it, you can get them on. And then the beauty of bending it out like that is um, just um, come on now, get on here. The beauty of bending it like this is that you can get larger beads on it. See, you'll never get these beads, these larger beads around that coil if this was not bent straight, right? Never. So once you get that out there like that, then you can kind of put these longer ones, these larger beads on there, see? And they just go straight on. And then you can just do, you know, whatever you want. I mean, the sky's the limit. 
And uh, I'm a, I have limited bead source. I don't have a lot of beads. So I'm just, as you can see, mine aren't very, it's not a very beautiful uh, beading job here. But I'm not going to spend a lot of money on beads. I have this, and I have junky beads. But I also have time that I can go through now and do a little bit of, um, uh, what do you call it? I can organize my beads now. Like I could shoot myself for not, I wonder if I can get one more green one on there, for not buying this little bead case that I saw the other day. I was like, oh, I should have grabbed that. It was like $3. I'm like, that's expensive. They're, are you kidding me? What a dumb, you know, I could, well, you have to be, you have to pick what you can buy. Okay. So there you go. And then you just bend it back and there you are. You're back in business, right? Okay. So that's the bead. So I hope. I hope that today you learned about these hands and I hope that you learned about these coilless safety pins from from here from me today. So go buy some coilless safety pins. Oh, and so what I did was I just basically poked a hole in here, you know, with one of these. You can add um, what would be really nice to make it more finished would be, you know, your, um, you know, the brads, not the brads. So help me here, you guys. What am I talking about? Well, you know what I'm talking about, the metal pieces, that you, the eyelets. So, you know, you can do that. I mean, adding one more on here would be really cute, but I don't want to do that right now. I'm not, because I'm not sure I'm actually going to leave these on here. I might just end up um, putting um, some tassels or something on here, or just stringing some string through it and making it a tie or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So, but, but that is our video, and I hope that you like the idea. I love the hands. I hope you guys will get the hands from the Dollar Tree. You can find these for sure on Amazon, but I did see them at um, Michael's as well. Just remember, coilless safety pins. And I hope that you guys will um, do this project. And I hope you like it as much as I did. I know it's a lot of fun. And it's a good way to use up your napkins. napkins. And that's what I've been doing lately is trying to use up a lot of my napkins because I have a lot of them. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll talk to you later soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Take care.